charge. The beaches of Santa Monica in Venice, not too far from our setting today. The Staples Center in Los Angeles. It's the Western Conference Finals. The battle now goes to Game 2. Thank you for joining us for this playoff edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said, it's an honor. But he added, scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, getting blocked shots and things of that nature always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. DA, thank you. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. At the forward slots, it's Bogdanovich and Ingles. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. And it's Gobert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Lakers, up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. And it's LeBron in at the small forward. So the Lakers win the tip. Kuzma outside. On the pass to Rondo. Just five on the clock. No good that time. The Jazz go the other way with it. They're feeling confident after Tuesday's big win. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. It was flat out sniping from deep. They look very comfortable pulling the trigger on the road. Anzo Conley will bring the ball up for Utah. Go Back to Conley. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Shot clock at five. On the wing, Mitchell. A three-pointer off the mark. And the dunk by James. Hey, you think of all the different images in your mind. Over the years of James attacking the rim some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And Conley gets it to go. The assist by Gobert. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now, here's LeBron. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovich. In many ways, uh, he feels like he's playing his best ball right now when, when you talk about LeBron James. Shooting two. That one is off. The second free throw, good. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Mitchell outside. He's now one for two with that bucket. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. Back to LeBron. Pass to Davis. Over Gobert. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Yeah, and Rondo just working the ball around there. He loves finding his teammates when they're open in the sweet spot. Conley against Kuzma. 13 feet away. Conley's shot is off. Golden opportunity that he can't make good. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Davis. A rebound by Mitchell. Jazz trail by three. 
and Davis sends it back. Well, he's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand up. Here is Conley after Rajon Rondo's bucket. Back to Conley. Outside Bogdanovich. From deep three-point range. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Los Angeles leading by five. James outside. Here's Davis. Gobert with the defensive effort. The Jazz have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Conley kicks to Mitchell. Back to Conley. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist from Conley. Mitchell's got his second bucket of the night. Love seeing Conley work the ball over to his teammates. He's so good at setting the table for them. Rondo passes to LeBron. Back to Rondo. Lakers working the ball around now. Now the pass to James. Trying to get open is Davis. And James gets it to go. James has got five. But there's no way to handle LeBron James' inside. It's just not going to happen. He has to go bare. Conley against Rondo. Conley gets the bucket. Well, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. The Lakers have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Here's James. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Oh, come on, we all know LeBron is used to be a foul. It's just amazing how he keeps his focus. Such a powerful player. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Free throw good, LeBron. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. And Utah has possession. Trailing by five. It's stolen by Rondo. Fires it up. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. James has got ten. I like how James shoots off the pass. He knows how to catch the D by surprise. Conley to his sister Gobert. Back to Conley. Passes it to Mitchell for three, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Mitchell's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Utah. Lakers leading by four. Here's Rondo. Gobert pulls it in. And it's Conley with the ball for the Jazz. Gobert, it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Kuzma finds Davis. James with it. Defended by Gobert. James, the pass to Davis. Over Gobert. And Davis can't get it to go. 
Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually just get back on track. And it's blocked. Average shot blocker. I mean, he will use more to use his vertical. More to redirect shots. A rebound by the Jams. Gobert's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. James outside. Loads it up for Davis. And Davis throws it down. I mean, the passing genius of LeBron coming to the surface. I mean, a look that only a few players in the league can make. Down the kicks to Mitchell. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. The Jazz shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Davis. JaVale McGee comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Tavius Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for LeBron. And it's Avery Bradley in for Danny Green. Free throw drops for Mitchell. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Now, here's Cousins. Caldwell Pope outside. But they recover it, and the shot goes in. And the Lakers lead by three. Specialty of the teams. I mean, he's a high activity guy who's opportunistic on the offensive glass. Mitchell dishes to exit. To the inside. And Davis can't get it to go. Lakers shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. Such a gritty competitor. I mean, when you talk about Bradley's whole game, it exemplifies toughness. We just saw that right there. Davis finds Mitchell. The Jazz working the ball around now. Six on the shot clock. Here's O'Neal. Misses off the right eye. Lakers leading by five. Bradley drives in, and that one is stuck right through. Oh, with his athleticism, nice to see Bradley drive to the right. Mitchell passes to Davis. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three-second violation. The Jazz have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And the technical free throw is good. And the former Hoya Green, a, a ranging forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Moutier, he's checked in for Utah. Now, here's Exum. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Davis kicks to O'Neal. Pulls up. Green breaking loose. O'Neal misses. Lakers leading by six. To the paint. And then Cousins with the dunk. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, it feels like there's just one step ahead right now. Look at the build out there, advantage even further. Now here is Davis. Up to Exum. This one for three. And that one falls coming off of Davis's speed. He might not have the long range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Rondo scanning the floor. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Exum kicks to Green. Now here's Exum. He's covered by Rondo. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. An easy pass turns into a terrible turnover. And that's a possession waste. Lakers leading by seven. Here's Bradley. Pass to Cousins. And they double up Cousins. Outside Rondo. Rondo. 
and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Jasmine. Jazz trail by seven. 32 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's the lob to the hoop, and the slam dunk by McGee. You see why McGee's teammates lob it up his way? Because they know he can go up and get it. Now, here's Exum. He's covered by Rondo. And here's Exum. And shot on the way. That shot, no good. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Lakers ahead, ending the first quarter on a 12-4 run. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. One of the better two-way guards in the NBA, Mike Conley said his inspiration growing up was none other than Gary Payton. He was one of my favorite players growing up. Um, I had Gary Payton jersey, I had the shoes, everything. So when I looked at a player, I was like, you know, he plays on both ends. I want to be able to do that, too. And you know, Conley, maybe not the size of Peyton, but Greg, he's always taken the challenge defensively. And you can see how much of an influence the glove had on Conley. He plays a lot like him on that end. What an atmosphere in here as we return to the action of the Western Conference Finals. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Well, they've used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Setting the pace early, G.A. I like this aggressive mind state, and I love this approach so far. JaVale McGee is out there with Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Then there's Avery Grant. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Rondo in at the point guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Here's Moutier. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Rondo passes to Caldwell Pope. Back to Rondo. Outside Brent. He's looking for Cousins and finds him. Can't get it to fall. And it's Exum with the ball who will bring it up for the Utah Jams. Nine point game. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Now here's Cousins. It's Coco Pope with the drive. O'Neal with the rebound. Jazz trail by seven. The pass to Exum. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Exum's got his second basket of the night. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Rondo dishes to Bradley. And he converts the layup. Bradley's got six points. Well, you see Bradley's toughness? Able to finish through the contact. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And Moutier throws it down. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster uh, dunk out, to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. So, timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. James checked in for the Lakers. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Davis. Joe Ingles comes in for Jeff Green. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for O'Neal. And Mike Conley subbed in for Exum. Now here's Brantley. 
Six points for him. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And there's the call. Utah the foul. The Lakers have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from McGee. Uh, at this point of his career, McGee knows who he is. A hustler. An energy guy who uses his athleticism to his advantage. Davis has checked in for the Lakers. Green comes in for Bradley. Both free throws, good from McGee. Jazz trail by seven. Conley left side. Let's the three fly. The Lakers with the rebound. McGee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Green passes to James. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. James, such a terrific interior score. Simple, under control, and on the money. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Boudier. Again, the Jazz score. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. James dishes to McGee. He kicks to Caldwell Pope. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. The shot comes out. And Utah the other way now. So the wing on the left. Moutier finds Conley. Here's Bogdanovich. Covered by LeBron. Has to go big. Here's Conley. Rebounded by the Lakers. They've led by as many as 11 points. He's been cold, and it's been hurting him. D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. Here's Moutier. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And finished off by Davis. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Outside Conley gets the 14-footer to fall. Conley's got six points. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? The drive by LeBron. When you give James a lane to the basket. He's going to dunk it hard. Amazing watching him just glide through the game. Jazz trail by nine. Moutier best to go there. Outside Conley. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got six rebounds here tonight. Green kicks to James. Ball's not loose. Here's Conley. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Eight points for Mike Conley. Putting his athleticism to perfect use. Conley is an absolute animal when he's on the drive. Caldwell Pope outside. Davis the pass to McGee. Bogdanovich against James. McGee, and he uses the glass on the way. He's got 10. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And has to go big. Back to Conley. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. And Utah with a change here, too. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Moutier. Has to go bear. Kicks it to Bogdanovich. Just five to shoot. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Yeah, I love how adept Bogdanovich is in these sets. Fantastic at just getting space to shoot in that pick and roll. And LeBron throws it down. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. There's the pass to Gobert. And then Mitchell hit the dunk. Oh, that's 
That's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Pass to LeBron. And the wide-open shot from Green. Sinks the triple. He'll do some damage if they give him that shot. Don't give him a clean look. Get out there on him. Finally against Green. And Davis sends it back. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Floats it up for Davis. Well, they'll get another chance. And Kuzma slams it in. Masterful of timing. When to go after offensive rebound. Kuzma excels at getting the right position. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. I appreciate the aggression, but that's already his second foul. He, he's got to play a little safer. At least checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Now Conley. He's got eight. Lock at six. Mitchell finds Gobert. Back to Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's Kuzma. LeBron outside. Back to Davis. It's stolen by Gobert. And it's Mitchell with the jam. Oh, the floor is general skills of Conley. I mean, he has a fantastic feel for when his teammates need the rock. Davis against Gobert. Count it. That's now eight points for Davis. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Oh, man, that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. And the Jazz call time here. You look at James, what a contribution. There should only be one thing they're talking about in this timeout, trying to deny him the ball in the paint before he does any more damage. some changes. DeMarcus Cousins comes in for Davis. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Danny Green. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group. Davis has checked in for Rudy Gobert. Green comes in for Joe Ingles. O'Neal's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Dante Axum in for Mike Conley. Now here's Mitchell. He's got 17. This is to Davis. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Yeah, with no defensive pressure at all, you've got to be able to make that exchange. Lakers leading by 10. Rondo dishes to LeBron. Down low. And Kuzma slams it in. Back by an aggressive offensive mindset, Kuzma attacks the rim with force. Exum passes to Davis. There's the dish to Mitchell. Bradley with some nice D. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. Now, here's Mitchell. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Utah shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. He shows the focus there, nails the technical. We've got 123 left in the first half of the game. Six to shoot, passes to Davis. And it's Exum in the corner, jacks up a three. 
Great tee that time from Rondo. And he hasn't been able to do much damage outside the three-point line. Just one triple for him in the game, and that was back in the first quarter. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. And, and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Jazz shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Two shots. free throw no good so neither attempt will fall that time for him. and here's Cousins he'll bring it up for the Lakers they lead by the biggest margin of the game 15 points you got to close up any lane to the rim. If you don't, Rondo is merciless in exploiting it. Now, here's Exum. Five points in the game. Mitchell is double. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Davis finds Exum. Mitchell right side. That one goes. Count it. Mitchell's got 19 points. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. O'Neal against James. From 11 feet away, again, Los Angeles. I, I like to say I'm blown away, but honestly, with LeBron, a game like this, it's just, it's just par for the course. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. Lakers on top, leading by 17. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Here with head coach Quinn Snyder. Coach, what adjustments are you going to do in the second half? You just got to keep playing, keep taking the shots. And that's not the issue as much as us uh, not executing on offense. And when we don't score, sometimes our defense lags as well. Everybody wants to see the ball go in the basket first, right? Thanks, coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, we hope you've enjoyed the first half. I'm Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Taking a look at the Lakers, they have rebounded very well from their loss in game one and have their eyes set squarely on evening this series up. What a response to a difficult opening game of the series for them. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. More often than not, Ernie, LeBron tries to involve his teammates early, but he came in ready to shoulder the load tonight. Terrific all-around performance in the first half. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. you got to protect the rim. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final horn. Oh, buzzer. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. It's been a clinic out there by James. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. Yeah, Greg, and that's somewhat of a surprise, I mean, but he's been really patient and unselfish. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Checking out the group for Quinn Snyder to start the second half. Inside, we have Ingles and Gobert. Mitchell and Bogdanovich with the wings, and it's Conley in at the point. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Now here's Conley. Shot from free throw range. Basket counts. 
Conley's got 10 points in the game. Look, look how lethal Conley is from the mid-range. I mean, his sweet lefty stroke. Ooh, nice. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now here's Conley, and he banks in the layup. Conley's got four points this quarter. Oh, I love the intensity Conley plays with. This what allows him to overcome aggressive defense like that right there. And they double up James. Rondo passes to Kuzma. To the middle. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Kuzma. And now, 24 points for LeBron. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. They're on target from the start of the half. I mean, they're moving well. They're getting some good shots. Now, that makes him three for four from the field since halftime. Takes a three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Inside, Ingles doesn't get it to drop for him. Kuzma with the defensive effort to the inside. And it's slammed in by Davis. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Chance drill by 18. Mitchell looking it over. And Gobert gets to Conley. And the shot goes in. Conley's got nine points here in the second half. He's so crafty near the bucket. You give Conley a little room to work with, he'll do his thing. Rondo passes to Kuzma. Now here's Davis. Gobert with the defensive effort. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even when he blows the finish. Moutier, who's checked in for the Jams. Los Angeles leading by 16. James with it. He's got 24. Here's Davis. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Davis has got 14 points. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. To the paint. Here's LeBron. And the layup's good off the glass. LeBron's got 26 points. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Jazz passing it around. And Davis sends it back. And they're able to recover. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. That one, no good. And it shoots all the other way. They double team Conley. Ingles kicks to Bogdanovich. Moutier against Green. Just five on the clock. It's stolen by Green. Here's the floater. And he lays it up and in. He's got five. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. And it's Conley penetrating. Davis with some nice deep. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Now, Moutier, Rondo missing on the three. Moutier, best to Ingles. They double-team Conley, and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's the Lakers now. Jazz trail by 20, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. For Utah, Shoot they two. have shot three of five at the foul line. A free throw good for Moutier. And some changes here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Anthony Davis. DeMarcus Cousins comes in for LeBron. 
And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Danny Green. And Utah with a change here, too. Ed Davis has checked in for Joe Ingles. Both free throws good for Moody. Los Angeles leading by 18. Outside Rondo. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Just four to shoot. Trains it from beyond the arc. Caldwell Pope's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Conley dishes to Davis. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. He feeds it to Davis. McGee with the block. And we mentioned McGee's outstanding lift. Right there. You saw what he did. He used that to swap the shot. Now, here's Moutier. Marjan Rondo missing his last shot. Gobert finds Conley. Davis up top. Pass to Moutier. Knocks down the three ball. Moutier's got five points now in the quarter. Maybe he's not a priority for the D, but come on, man. You gotta have somebody keeping track of him. Caldwell Pope outside. The pass to Kuzma. Banked in off the glass. Kuzma's got eight points. Awesome at keeping his balance. Sometimes guarding Kuzma is impossible for the defense. Moutier kicks to Conley. That three off the mark. Lakers leading by 20. Here's Cousins. And Cousins throws it down. One of the few guys in the league can make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Has to go big. Rondo with the steal. Now here is McGee. He's got 10. Outside Rondo. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Rondo's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. And the Jazz call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they'd like to reverse. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for the Lakers. The Jazz also changing it up. Green, he's checked in for Gobert. Royce O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Exum in for Emmanuel Moutier. Now, here's Exum. He's got five. Outside, Davis. Conley finds Exum. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the triple. They grab their own miss. Davis on the follow. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to Ronda. Lakers working the ball around now. Cousins inside. Davis is on. Great D that time from Davis. Green. And it's Green with the jam. Dang off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. McGee, the best to Caldwell Pope. Back to McGee. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Davis. Back to O'Neal. For the three. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Cousins has got six rebounds here tonight. Bradley finds Rondo. 
Hawley's going up for the alley-oop here, and it's McGee with the jam. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Now, but sometimes you don't need a haymaker. It's just a jab. You, you, you got to get those easy looks inside. Passes it to Caldwell Pope. Here's Cousins. Pass to McGee. Over Green. Second chance shot. They shoot again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Ed Davis. It's very difficult for the D to cleanly contest Cousins. Just a hulking presence who bullies his way into shooting fouls. This is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw good from Cousins. Oh, what makes Cousins successful? You have to be willing to challenge people night in and night out at both ends on the floor. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. LeBron comes in for Caldwell Pope, and it's Green in for Bradley. The Jazz also changing it up. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Green. Joe Ingles comes in for O'Neal, and Donovan Mitchell subbed in for Exum. Now here is Conley. He's got 17. Fires the three. The Lakers with the rebound. LeBron's got his fourth rebound in this one. Offensive rebound. The Jazz shooting 45% from the field since coming out of the locker room at halftime. And it's Mitchell missing. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Green dishes to LeBron. LeBron is doubled. Outside Rondo. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. James, no good. Utah shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Conley, the pass to Davis. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got five assists in the game. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. Green finds McGee. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Rondo drives in. Stolen by Michael Conley. Back shot, and it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll return shortly. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Well, I like that he didn't make his decision too early. You know, he let the play develop. That's how you do it. Finds the weakness in that defense. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Davis and Cousins down low at the four and the five. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. And it's Rondo in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Bogdanovich is checked in for Davis. Shot clock at six. And it's Rondo penetrating. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This, this isn't like him. And he knows it. The best thing they could do is try to get him more easy looks. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's his first foul. Gobert gets to Conley. Five to shoot. 
Sweet little floater. Conley's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Jams. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. James dishes to Davis. No bucket and that miss is number six. He's made seven. Here's Mitchell. That shot misses. Great tee that time from Green. And they double up James. Green finds James. Now Cousins. Yes, that goes in. Oh, I love seeing the power of Cousins on display. The defense has a tough time attempting to contain it. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. They get it back. Here's Gobert. Knocks it loose. A second chance effort. Here is Rondo. A pass to Davis. Over Bogdanovich. That one off the back iron and out. Jazz have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Took him no time at all on that one. 22 points for Conley. And that's his second triple of the half. None for him going into the break. 20 feet out. Utah with the rebound. Mitchell outside. He dishes it to Bogdanovich. Over James, and that one off the time back of the out. rim and in. And you just love that concentration level that Bogdanovich possesses. Even when the D's crowding him, he stays locked in on that cup. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. making a switch here. Kuzma's checked in. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Rondo passes to James. Trying to get open is Davis. A shot's good from LeBron. James has got 28 points for the game. And James is used to scoring through contact. Doesn't matter what the D throws out. Now the feed to come. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Lakers leading by 17. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And here's LeBron outside. And the three ball is good. LeBron's got five points in the quarter. Conley the pass to go there. Green with the ball. Now defended by Mitchell. And Green slams it in. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. You know, Greg, that's about as high percentage a look as you're going to get running the floor beautiful. Now, here's Mitchell. Here's Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Rondo kicks to James. Those three-pointers off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Oh, he's been as dependable as he always is. He can't do it all by himself. Pass to Davis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. 16 points for Davis. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. 
Utah calls timeout. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. Oh, yeah, no question what they'll be talking about in this timeout. They need to figure out some way to slow him down. Double team Conley. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Rondo with that clean look hits it from three point range. That gives him the double double 11 points and 14 assists. Passes it to Gobert. Now here is Conley, James covering. Rondo against Conley. Pocket six. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Mitchell's got four points now in the quarter. He's been so dependable in this game, taking nothing but good shots. Out to Kuzma. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Mitchell against Green. Gobert, the pass to Mitchell. Gobert trying to get open. Mitchell's shot is good. Oh, good interior offense. Those passes have to be right on target. Pass to Kuzma. Back to LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. Such blinding speed on the drive. I mean, James is a force of nature when he's on the attack. On the pass to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. One is no good. The Lakers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Here's LeBron. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Green against Mitchell. Has to come. Over Rondo. The Jazz with another miss. Los Angeles has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. James finds Green. It's good. Uh, orchestrating this offense, James. So crafty at distributing the rock. Passes it to Gobert. Back to Conley. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Conley's got 26 points. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Conley against Rondo. Right side Davis. Kuzma outside. Let's it go with a three. Rebound, Utah. 
Puts it up from 17, and it's Mitchell missing. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 14-6 run. LeBron can't get it to go. Utah has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. That's two shots. Foul. Elbow. Two. At the line of the Jazz, Rudy Gobert taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Bradley's checked in for Joe Ingles. George Niang comes in for Bogdanovich. Emmanuel Moutier's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Williams Goss subbed in for Mike Conley. And Gobert drops them both. L.A. has gone 3 of 5 from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. And it's McGee penetrating. Bradley with some nice D. The Jazz shooting straight 49% from the field. Williams Goss, the pass to Gobert. Here's Williams Goss. He's guarded by Dudley. Five on the clock. The baseline J. That one goes in. Los Angeles leading by 22. Come to me, come to me. And here's McGee. Moutier brings the double team. McGee, the best to Caruso. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Caruso's got his first bucket of the night. That's just the product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Gobert finds Moutier. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And the Jazz making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. So he gets them both. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Rondo and a wide open look for James. No good on the triple. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Here's Williams Goss. Here's Bradley. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Bradley's got his first basket. And, and that's just about going to wrap it up for game number two. Lots of exciting moments out there. Big time NBA play. And in the end, victory for the Lakers. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for LeBron. He hung a big number on the scoreboard, and it wasn't just because he was hot. He did it with movement and tenacity. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Davis. Dudley comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Daniels, he's checked in for Green. And it's Alex Caruso in for Rajon Rondo. 112 left in the fourth. Pass to James. Los Angeles with another miss. Jazz trail by 21. O'Neal. And a miss there on the triple. Now here's LeBron. Defense right on him. Caruso, the pass to LeBron. And they double up James. Lakers working the ball around now. Shot clock at five. Shoots. Misses off the left iron. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Williams goes the pass to O'Neal. 
And James pulls it down. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and got in the perfect position to alter the shot. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's serious. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Anthony, tell us the focus for the team coming into the game tonight. Well, you know, before we started the game, you know, Coach came in and told us that we knew what we had to do. You know, we trying to stop a lot of the action. And, you know, our biggest focus for the game was guard the ball. Uh, that's what we did come out of that timeout and never looked back. And it led to a win. Thank you for your time, Anthony. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.